glad you could join us for NFL Live. I'm Wendy Nix with Jeff Darlington, Diana Rossini, and GM Mike Tannenbaum, who covered the draft, actually called every pick on ESPN Radio. <laughs> so Mel Kuyper over yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Mel Kuyper of ESPN Radio after what was certainly a busy few days last week in Nashville. And he got exactly what he wanted. And in reality, if you look at the way it all worked out for them, they were able to get the pass rusher they wanted. They were able to get the quarterback. So everyone walked out of Redskins Park like, hey, we may not like each other, but this worked. Moving forward, if I'm Dwayne Haskins, I'm looking behind me. I got three really talented running backs. Yeah. I tell you, like when you sit in the seat of making the decision, it's not a popularity contest. You want to get everyone's opinion. You thank them for their contributions. And at the end of the day, one person's making the decision. I feel like all their work is being heard. There's only one person in every building that's actually making that well, call. Like, how many owners, though, how many owners around the league are doing that, do you think? Like, you know, every situation is going to be different, Jeff. I think, Look. There's, I think there's more than one. I would, I, I yeah, would. Jerry yeah, Jones. Would, he's, he's yeah, yeah, and I know there's... Interesting to me, and I'll go back to something you said, Mike, is that at the end of the day, there's one person making the decision. You make it, you say, thanks for your help, but, you know, I got this. Which, again, goes back to Dave Gettleman and sort of these comments after the fact of trying to justify it or trying to say, here's, what I, here's why I did it. You know, again, he was that one decision maker with the Giants and really doesn't have to say anything else. No. But how do you know that maybe perhaps in the Giants organization, and I'm not reporting this, I don't know this, but so here we can yeah. go back to Gettleman and what he said. But I do want to say, you know, it's not this kid's fault, right? No. I mean, he played, he had an excellent college career. He gets drafted by the team who wanted to draft him. And I hope, I, I honestly, I hope he does go out and prove everybody it's, but that, And that's the thing. It's nobody's fault. Like, uh, uh, slightly, <laughs> and looks bit. a little bit like him, too. And he, you know, he's been compared to him in so many different ways. He's like the long-lost brother, uh, you know, another Manning brother out there. Uh, I mean, you can speak to it better than anybody, though, the pressures of New York. And he's He's already doing a great job. Well, then people are going to start doubting whether or not he should be in the sixth pick in the draft. Sounds my a little is, damned if you do. My point fundamentally is he has to earn the belief and the trust of his teammates. And if he goes yeah. out there and plays well in the preseason and leads them down to scoring drives, that's where it all starts. Everything else will uh, fall into place. He has to win over his teammates. And by if he plays well in the preseason, that's the best way to do it. Well, I know one thing. It will be interesting to watch, no matter how yeah. it plays out. I mean, out. think it's about those two scenarios. Both right of them there, sound right? like it, it really does. firestorm. Right there in that. New York. <laughs> All right.